With what meditations did Bloom accompany his demonstration to his companion of various constellations? Meditations of evolution, increasingly vaster, of the moon invisible in incipient lunation, approaching perigree, of the infinite latiginous, scintillating, uncontensed Milky Way, discernible by daylight by an observer placed at the lower end of a cylindrical vertical shaft, 5,000 feet deep sunk from the surface towards the centre of the Earth, of Sirius Alpha in Canis Major, 10 light years, 57,000, thousand, thousand, thousand miles distant, and in volume 900 times the dimension of our planet, of Arcturus, of the precession of equinoxes, of Orion with belt and sextuple sun, theta and nebula, in which a hundred of our solar systems could be contained, of moribund and of nascent new stars, such as Nova in 1901, of our system plunging towards the constellation of Hercules, of the parallax or parallactic drift of so-called fixed stars, in reality ever moving from immeasurably remote aeons to infinitely remote futures, in comparison with which the years, three score and ten, of allotted human life formed a parenthesis of infinitesimal brevity.